Hello and welcome to a new episode of the Medical Microbiology series. This video is all about Neisseria meningitidis, a very dangerous bacteria that infects the cerebral lining of the brain, causing a disease known as meningitis. Neisseria meningitidis is also known as meningococci and is similar to the other members of the Neisseria genus because it is a gram-negative diplococcus which appears pink following gram staining. It also shares the familiar kidney or coffee bean shape. Meningococci are aerobic, preferring to grow in 5-10% to CO2, which is referred to as capnophilic. The most important chemical characteristics of this bacteria are that it's oxidase positive and that they can ferment glucose and maltose, which contrasts with Neisseria gonorrhea, which can only ferment glucose. The most distinctive feature that distinguishes between meningococci and gonococci is that meningococci are capsulated due to the ability to form a protective capsule. This is considered a strong virulence factor that shields the bacteria from phagocytosis. It is also antigenic and can be used to separate meningococci into 13 distinct serogroups. Meningococcus is considered to be a fastidious microorganism which cannot grow on simple media and requires the specific nutrients found in enriched medias to grow. Tryptone soya agar, mullahintin agar, blood or chocolate agars are all suitable media for cultivating Neisseria members, but the best is modified theomartin agar. Neisseria meningitidis was named due to its specific role in causing meningitis. It alone forms 25% of the total number of meningitis infections. Meningococci represents a normal part of the microbial flora in the nasopharynx and can be transmitted between people. This makes it a contagious organism, especially in crowded places, such as schools, universities or military sites. This ability to spread such a dangerous infection led to the need for groups of people, including soldiers, children and university students, to be vaccinated against various strains of meningococci. Infection is transmitted through sneezing, coughing or aerosols carrying the meningococci, which can then colonise, reproduce and cause local infections of the nasopharynx, from which it can penetrate the inner membrane and enter the blood. If it enters the bloodstream and manages to evade the immune system, it can cause septicemia, sometimes referred to as meningococcemia. Meningococcemia or meningococcal septicemia is a rare but very dangerous infection which damages the epithelium of the blood vessels and causes bleeding in the skin and other organs. It is similarly transmitted through coughing, sneezing and kissing, especially in young infants which is why it is advised that kissing should be kept limited to avoid passing on bacterial or viral infections such as this or herpes. The symptoms of meningococcemia include fever with chills, fatigue, cold hands and feet, rash and muscle and joint pains. Generally, following infection of the blood, meningococci reach the brain and specifically the meninges, which are membranes that protect the brain and spinal cord. Infections of the meninges is the cause of bacterial meningitis, which has symptoms that include poor memory and concentration, fatigue, fever with chills, neck stiffness, nausea and vomiting, and a lack of appetite. The virulence factors of meningococci resemble those of Neisseria gonorrhea, except for the ability to form the capsule, which is an important distinction. Similar virulence factors include the presence of pili that play a vital role in adhesion and invasion of host cell surfaces, transferring of genetic material via plasmids, antiphagocytosis, and as a method of motility. Both meningococci and gonococci also carry several outer membrane proteins that are very important to the gram-negative cocci, such as porin proteins, reduction modifiable proteins which transfer nutrients to the inside of the bacterial cell and opacity proteins which assist in adhesion of the colonies to receptors on host cells. Meningococci also produce lipooligosaccharide, enterotoxin and IgA protease which inactivates IgA antibodies. 
IgA antibodies are one of the most important antibodies because they protect the body from bacteria that may be found in the mucous membranes of the respiratory and reproductive systems. To treat meningococcal infections, the best choice of antibiotics is the third generation cephalosporins, such as cefotaxime and ceftrioxone. Penicillin G and chloramphenicol have also been shown to have good efficacy against meningococci. I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.